Okay, so today we are still celebrating artists of color. It's our last one for the month. Let me pull up her info real quick. Her name is Joy. Um, but I really, really loved her work because what she does is basically uh, creates these wonderful paintings that almost have sort of like a collage feel to them uh, without using uh, different mediums. She's just using paint. Uh, Labinjo is her last name, but she is she's expanding and analyzing her British Nigerian heritage. So what she's doing is taking photographs from her life and from her family's life, and she's repainting them. Um, uh, they're really, I really like, I was really excited about this project because uh, I have a pretty large family, I think with just myself, my aunts and uncles, uh, and my mom and grandparents, we have like over 80 people. And uh, uh, growing up, I just remember having a ton of experiences with uh, getting together as a family, celebrating different things. Um, and you can see that a lot in her paintings as well. She's, she's taking these old photographs and painting them and you can see her Nigerian background coming out in her paintings as well. Um, uh, some people don't have the same experience that I did with family. Uh, maybe you have a different experience and you're not very close to your family and that's okay. Um, that, is, that is your truth, that's your reality. But today we're going to uh, paint that. So not paint, oh my gosh, draw it. <laughs> um, so you will, what ideally, hopefully, uh, it says on the website, but you need a photograph, whether it's an old photograph, a current photograph, um, something from your family life, if you have it. Uh, at the show of hands, does anybody have a photograph? Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Keep your hand up. I'm scrolling through. Evie, thumbs up. Cool. Um, those of you that don't have your camera on, if you could just give me a virtual thumbs up, hand up, that'd be great. Okay. I see a few. Perfect. Uh, Isaac, that's okay. Um, if you do not, if you do not, there is uh, there, sorry, I just read tater tots. <laughs> Wait, I need paint. No, you don't need paint. Um, sorry about that, everybody. I think I'm just, I'm looking at her paintings. So, um, if you don't have a photograph, that's okay. If you have the capability of, um, or unless you have a photograph, like in your general vicinity, or you could Google a photo of a family or something. Um, you can do that or just paint. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Draw uh, from <laughs> your memory. Um, so you can still create an abstract collage look on your paper with colored pencils and your graphite. Uh, and then, uh, but you'll just have to work from your mind instead of working from a photograph. So uh, that's totally fine. You can do that. Uh, let me screen share. I'm going to show you this artist's work real quick. I know. Sorry, Isaac. <laughs> okay. Uh, there it is. Uh, beautiful, beautiful paintings. I, I found, I actually found her. So um, what I was doing while I was looking for artists to celebrate, um, was I really wanted to bring some artists into our, into, uh, bring it to our attention, um, these artists that are still currently alive and working. Um, and I actually ran into her, her work and uh, was just obsessed with it. Um, I really, really love this collage look. She takes these photographs and instead of painting on the detail, she really focuses on the people in the paintings. Uh, making sure she gets their characteristics, their clothes, everything like that. Uh, but for the backgrounds, she includes these really uh, beautiful solid colors. Um, you can also see like there's a random little pattern in this window here. Um, but they're all, all of them are like that. So again, solid colors in the background, but a, a focus on the women and the men in the paintings. 
Um, she does these different, she puts these different objects in the backgrounds too, as you can, as you can see with that past one, there's those leaf, that leaf pattern. And then here with the palm trees. So we're going to, we're going to be, we're going to use this as our inspiration today and do a similar technique in our own drawings. I almost said painting again. I caught myself. Okay. Uh, here's another one. I love it. Uh, again, those solid colors in the backgrounds, uh, she does include, and they're not super realistic. So while you're drawing these characters, or these characters, your family, you don't have to make your soul focus on making them look realistic, but instead try to capture their emotion, uh, try to capture what they're wearing, what they're doing. Uh, the, again, the solid color with a random plant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here's another one. Evie would like to know, do I have to have people? Uh, ideally, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at family uh, or you're looking at, we're basically kind of analyzing our own lives. So um, even maybe if you have a pet, you could do a photo with like a pet in it. I don't see why not. Here's another one. Really love this one. Just, again, these solid, awesome colors in the background, and then she just gets these, she just captures a couple objects in each photo. And then here's that pattern again. Looks like she's using a sort of stamp or print. And then that solid color in the background. And then this is her, oh. A couple of her other works too, just from the website. So you can see there's some random objects still that she's capturing. But yeah, that's the artist today. Uh, yes, it is. It is tough to draw people. Oh, I forgot. I was going to share what I'm looking at. Um, hence why I did mention that you don't need to focus so much on making these, the people or the figures in the picture or in the photo realistic. And that's not really what she focuses on, as you can tell from her work. Um, this is a photo of my own family. Oh, look how cute they are. Um, this is, this is my mom right here. And these are my grandparents, but these are all her brothers. Um, I don't know. I just love this photo. I love my mom. Uh, and my uncles, I think they're all great. Um, so I'm just capturing this because it also reminds me of a time when we all got together um, and has some sort of meaning to me. So I'm going to, I'm going to be looking at that while I'm drawing. So you won't see this image while I'm drawing, but I will be doing that, attempting. Uh, okay, so anybody... Evie, yes, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be using my graphite pencil first, but we will be using colored pencils instead of paints. I understand that some people do not have access to paints at home. If you do have paint, please feel free to use paint. I will not be using paint though. I will be, I will be using colored pencils just like the rest of you. Uh, so choose to, I'm going to put my paper in a portrait position just like uh, the photograph that I'm looking at. So let me see. Let me just make sure there's no more. There's any more questions. Anyone have any questions about what we're doing? Oh, Scoot, there's a request for you. <laughs> Uh, I'll try. <laughs> okay, so. It's not going to look very good. Okay, there we go. For some reason, my paper looks so dark when I'm not using it. All right. Um, I am, sorry, I'm just re rearranging my photo here. So I have a good view of it. Okay. 
So there's a couple things already that I see that I would like to add into the background. But we're going to use her same technique with really focusing on the people. And then what we can do uh, is, let me try to arrange this again. Sorry, everyone, the screen's going to get a little wobbly. Okay, that's a little better. If I leave the camera for a moment, I'm so sorry. My focus is going to be on this photo, so I'm going to do my best to make sure I'm not leaving the screen. Okay. Um, I'm laying out my foundation right now, and then I'm just going to focus on the placement of the people here, too. So, um, what I'll do to start is just lay out the heads. That way I know where everyone is pretty much standing. Capture the height of my tallest relatives. <laughs> Do you mind if someone uh, shares their screen? Oh, no. Second? Okay. We can do that right now if you want. Yeah, one second. Let me, uh, let me try to pull it up. Let's try to share my drawings. Uh, I just need to sign in. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Uh, uh, share. Yeah, I'm not sure part on this. Go. Yeah. Let's see, share screen. Here we go. Oh, that's so oh, amazing. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Scott, wait, okay. Can we screenshot this? Hold on. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> please hold. Please hold. Please. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And that's my favorite movie. Yeah, I remember you said that that was your favorite movie. I was like, huh. Was like, yes. Okay, Scott. I did take my screenshot. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. And Doc says great Scott. Oh, that's so cool. That's amazing. I'm so glad you just shared that. Look Thank at you. Scott. Nice. <laughs> that's the best. Oh my gosh. I actually was Marty McFly and I was Doc Brown for Halloween one year. And I made myself a cardboard hoverboard. Nice. Uh, yeah, I still uh, have it at my old house. That's so good. Cat right. has her hand up. Hey, Cat. So I um, wanted to know if I could share the image I'm doing. And also, I had a random question that has nothing to do with art. Of course. Uh, what breed is your dog? Oh, that's a cute picture. Is that you and your sisters? So that's my baby sister, Charlotte. That's Laura when she was younger, and that's me. How cute. What cute little babies. Yeah. Uh, my dog is an Australian cattle dog. <laughs> they are a herding breed. So she's got lots of energy. I just took her out to play before this class. Our dog has lots of energy, but she's acting really weird today. So dogs were thinking, I was thinking about dogs. She's a German Shepherd mix. Aww. Okay. All right, so I am just making my focus on capturing the people in the photo first. And their gestures, that's another thing I wanna to try to capture as well.
Also gonna make sure I capture there. Wanna make sure they uh, at least look proportionate. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Been doing all right so far. So I'm just looking at the very obvious things right now. As you can see, when I shared my screen, the, the image of them, they're not super close in the photo. Uh, so I zoomed in a little bit to see if I could get at least their gestures. And then I'll focus on details once I just lay out where everything's at as far as like the clothing they're wearing, the way they're holding their hands. I've got one super tall uncle. And just laying out the hair too. Uh, out of curiosity, too, if you are using a photo of your family, can you tell us who's in the photo? Or, Evie, like if Evie, if you decided to use a pet, you can just type it in the chat or you can unmute yourself, like we saw what Kat's doing. The photo I'm using has my mom, dad, and me. Me. Oh, awesome. Why did you choose that photo? Uh, I think it's cute because it's um, right after I was born, I think. Oh, that's awesome. I have more people. Dad, yeah. <laughs> you have more people? Mm -hmm. Who's in your photo? Um, I'm a uh, our mom's parents, our mom, dad, me, and Victoria. And me. And Aww. me, a baby. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> and mainly, we are wearing red. That's cute. 
Samantha's drawing herself and her dog. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's a photo. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love that dog. I love it. Well, you know, what a cute pup. And why'd you choose that photo of you and your dog? Um, because I really liked it and it was right after she sneezed and so she was like. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Okay. Oh, I just realized my grandpa's mouth is open. <laughs> I got to capture that. <laughs> Oh, so silly. <laughs> I think he's in the middle of saying something. <laughs> All right. And then he's slightly at an angle, so I want to try to do that too. Anyone else want to share what they're doing? Evie says she can screen share hers. All right, let's see it. Oh, cute little kitty. I love it. Thank you. So cute. So cute. Tater Tot's doing a picture from his dad's birthday with his dad, mom, and brother. Oh, that's nice. That's a good memory. All right, so I pretty much Sorry, my hand keeps blocking the view of everything, but I pretty much got the torsos and everything laid out. So now I'm just going to work on the legs. So that's what I'm doing right now. And some of the legs are cut off by these random little plants. In the photo. 
Liliana and Heather Rose would like to screen share their picture. All right, let's see it. Oh, that's a good photo. I love it. What a beautiful family. Laura found her dog. Oh, pup. That's cute. And our dog's just looking. Uh, why are there sounds coming out of a phone? <laughs> That's why cute. Why are sounds coming out of that little rectangle you're holding? <laughs> It's so cute when they're all confused. There's actually a lot cast in shadow too in my photo here. Now I'm just getting the general outline of these plants that are in the foreground. And then I'll do more detail when I start adding color. I got my uncle's legs over here. Poor uncle. Cat raised her hand. Hey, cat. Hello. I have a question. Yes. Uh, so I have this bit of my photo all worked out with simple lines and shapes. But now I don't know what to do next. Now I just start working on the detail. So capturing the eyes, the nose, noses. The only thing is that noses are hard on, especially on babies, because they're so black. Yeah. Black. The quite as raised as if you were drawing an adult. Yeah, that's and that's totally fine. You don't have to focus on making it too realistic, uh, but just do your best to, to capture what you can. Uh, one thing too, to keep in mind, and I'll show you real quick, with noses, if you were to draw, usually what I would do is try to get, here's the, like the tip of the nose, right? And then you have the nostrils usually coming out right here. And then you have this little area where it goes inside the nostril. The thing with the nose is that it's primarily cast in shadow. So when you look at a person's face, there's not usually the lines, right? That make the nose. <laughs> It's just shadow or shading. So what you end up doing is actually just to, to really create the nose, what you end up doing is just capturing the shadows that are on either side of it. To show what it looks like. And of course the darkest shadows are usually around the nostrils.
but there's all this shading around it. And then the tip of the nose, there's some shading underneath. And then you can just get rid of that line that we used to capture the ball of the nose. And then you just keep adding shading until you really get the uh, the look that you're going for. So you can play with the shading a little bit and make some areas darker, like the nostrils. And then all of that started with just that simple circle that I used to make the tip of the nose. So if you're looking at your photo, <laughs> Evie, yes, there's a person with wings in the, in the background. That was for some little elementary school kids. Um, uh, yeah, hopefully, does that help a little bit, Kat? Yeah, look at, thank look you. At, yeah, look at the shadows in the photo more than the nose itself. That, and then the, the shadows, the shading will actually bring out what the nose looks like. Yeah, because as soon as you start to try to draw the nose, it doesn't look as... <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if our noses looked like that all the time? Here's my family coming together a little bit more. Having a bit of trouble capturing the artist's particular style. Well, that's a good, it's a, that's actually a good question. I think that will help the, everybody else. But if we were using her style as our inspiration, however, it's not gonna be exactly what she does. Let me pull uh, some of her images again. So the other thing is we're not working with the same materials. So it might be a little bit harder to capture exactly what she's doing. Uh, but the, the point is to not entirely capture exactly what she's doing because this is gonna become your own work. Um, I think the key elements to keep in mind while you're doing this are the solid colors in your background and then um, the, um, the minimal amount of objects in the background. So uh, let's see, where's one photo I was thinking about? Uh, so like in this photo for, as an example, I'm sure the, the walls were not red and yellow. You know, so you get to choose. She uses really bright colors. That's another thing to think about. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Um, but she just chooses to put these patterns in there and keep one object. Does that kind of help, Evie? Just look at the characteristics of it rather than trying to capture the exact, uh, the exact painting. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm just not sure exactly what to do after first color lay down. What, uh, are you focusing on the background right now or are you adding, what are you working on?
Oh, 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 the shapes and the people. Okay, so let's look at this again. So what she is doing, and again, you don't have to do exactly what she's doing with that. For, oh my gosh, for a quick second, I forgot how to share my screen. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, okay, so what she's doing is using these shapes to capture the highlights and the shadows. So this is where there's shading on her figures. And then this is where there's specific highlights from the lighting. Same with this one. So if there's some highlights on this woman's face here. And then she capture, captures all the shading that's underneath the chin that you see on this side of the face. Does that help, Evie? She says, thank you. Okay. Those are great questions too. Oops, sorry everybody. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now I laid out where all my figures are here. For the most part, all of this is like in shadow too. All right, and there is a giant rock in my background that I'm totally gonna include back here. And a tree. Okay, so I'm going to start adding color that way we can kind of see how we can continue to use this as our inspiration here. My figures aren't totally done. It's all right. Um, actually, what I'll do real quick is capture some of their expressions. Okay, so I'm just sort of capturing where their eyes are gonna go. That way we can continue to work on this. Time is getting away from me today. Okay. 
So some solid colors. Let's see. This will be the fun part. Okay. I'm going to use this green down here. So uh, what I really like about her style, or I think what really draws me to it, are the solid bright colors in her backgrounds. So I'm gonna draw a little bit of this greenery here. I'm just gonna fill it in. So she's got this, uh, the way she organizes everything, it is, it does give it that collage feel, but it also has this sort of flatness to it. Like it's not really, the backgrounds are very two-dimensional rather than looking like our photograph, really three-dimensional, right? So you don't have to, You don't have to focus on this area as being three-dimensional. It's kind of nice because you just get to let go of that and just add colors that speak to you. It really helps focus the, I think the, like I said, she's kind of analyzing her own, she's looking at her own family life, but it, it almost emphasizes it a little bit because of how much detail is put into her character, or into the characters, into her family, and how the background isn't as detailed. You can see that she's really looking at the people what she's grown up with. Sorry if that was loud. And you can even mess around too. Uh, like I have this color, this, shade of green in my uh in my foreground but what if i wanted to add a little bit of a darker green let's see what's this oh look at that i pulled a dark green so again you're we're using her as inspiration but we're not totally you don't have to do it exactly as she does. I think. Everyone still doing all right? Samantha would like to share. Oh, I love it. That looks so good, Samantha. I like how you're adding the color on your on yourself right now. That looks really nice. Thank you for sharing. I love it. Let's see what 
And just remember too, uh, you are using, if you're using colored pencils instead of paints, you are using a different medium too. So it is gonna look a little bit different than if you were to have used paints. If you're using paints, fantastic. If I can get Cat's hand is up. Hey, cat. So I just wanted to share what I have had so far. Um, it looks kind of weird, but so far, so far. Looks good. That's the start. That's totally. That's totally fine. I like the color that you're choosing for the background and how the face is looking so far, though. Thanks. Decided to go with more green. Tater Tot raised his hand. Tater Tot, Tater Tot. Oh, I love it. Oh, wow. I love the bright colors you're using. Uh, it's your dad, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, okay, yeah. I like the sort of highlight colors on him. That looks good. And if anyone else wants to share, I'd love to see more. Don't hesitate. We're getting closer and closer to the end. <laughs> I think I can share my screen if you don't mind. Go for it. I haven't had a chance to work during the class, but um, I've been working on uh, some characters started last week. Oh. Uh, let me see. It's from a movie I like. Oh, I love it. It's very simple. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I, I got love. a new tablet and I've been playing around with the tablet. So I decided to draw the band. I love the piano in the background. Thank you. With the Pepsi Cola box. So. <laughs> How do I turn sharing off? Yeah. There should just be that stop share. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I said there should be a stop share button. That's what I was going to say. I don't see it. <laughs> it should be right at the top with all those commands or those. Uh... 
Let's see. Do it from the other computer. There we go. Data Top wants to know what tablet you use. Oh, you saw, you saw, perfect. Um, let's see, Vienna and Victoria would like to share. Awesome. Oh, I love it. That drawing's looking so good. <laughs> she doesn't like it. She thinks it's not good enough. Aww. I like it. Yeah, that's looking so good. <laughs> yeah, that's looking great. You're not even halfway done yet. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. The turn you want to share your My background is watercolor, so it might be a little different. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I love it. You're getting the color in there. Oh, that's so cute. I love that family photo. Oh, thank you. Very nice, ladies. Does anyone else want to share? Liliana and Heather Rose. Liliana and Heather Rose. Even the Joy and Captain's perfect. Oh, I love it. That's looking so good so far. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, you get to capture a lot of people. It's looking awesome. Very nice job, ladies. Our pictures of all the kids of our family. That's all the kids of the family? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Big family. Now I'm just getting the colors down on these family members. All right. And then we only have a couple minutes left. So if anyone else wants to share, you are welcome to. Evie. I think Evie would like to share. Here's mine. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. I do like different stripes of different shades of brown to represent lighting, kind of. Oh, I love the little kitty. Thank you. That's looking great. I like your color that you chose. Thank you. For all, all of it, for every part of it. Okay, grandmother here is wearing all black. Let's see. 
Des and Max, um, let's see, would you guys like to share? Yeah. Uh, uh, so here's a new share. Yeah. So I got my, I challenged myself to try to draw it like really small. Uh, so I got this big drawing. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. That looks, that looks great. Thank you. Are you going to add color to it? Uh, probably. I'll probably have to make another color one, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And I think Des, is yours done? No. no. Oh, not, not yet? Okay. Okay, let's see. My uncle's shirt has some. Okay. Okay. So that is the class today. I hope you all loved the artist. Um, I thought she was pretty brilliant. And uh, I, by the way, loved seeing the images of your family. So thanks for sharing those, um, getting to know each other a little bit more. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but any last calls, really quick shares, going once, going twice. Samantha, oh, yes, the color is looking even better. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Thank you all. Uh, it was so fun working on this project with you. I hope you all have a good rest of your week. See y'all later. Thank you very much. This is a great class. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for class. Of course. Thank you for being here. Bye, everybody.